Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're watching part 3 of the Commander series, where we will check out rare commanders. I know you've been waiting for this video and I'm sorry for the delay. Before we start, please subscribe my channel first and like this video. I will keep bringing more informative videos on Sniper Fury to you. So we have 3 rare commanders, special ops, navy, and terrestrial rare commanders. Let's start with Air Force Rare Commander. Its description says, increase rewards gained from Special Ops 35%. Decrease Special Ops mission time by 30%. Increase Special Ops squad mates winning chances by 5%. Let's activate it test its abilities. I will demonstrate the effects of Commander on 3 Special Ops missions, Notorious, Tier 7. Tank Threat, Tier 7. Capital Visitor Center, Tier 10. You can see for yourself, the 5% increase in Ops Mission success rate and decrease in Ops Mission duration. To get extra bonus rewards using Commander, it needs to be active while loading the mission and while claiming it as well. So load the Ops Mission for a duration lesser than Commander activation period. And if the duration of mission loaded, is longer than Commander time and the Commander expires before completion of Ops, activate it again before claiming mission rewards. Now I've sped up Capital Visitor Center and see if it gives 35% more rewards along with other two missions. Cheers guys, Commander works great. Let's move towards Terrestrial Rare Commander. Its description says, increase all XP gained from any source by 40%. Increase avatar HP and base defense value by 100%. I will run some contracts using raid tickets and will be testing my own base without activating commander. I'm getting 49,500 XP per raid ticket with Psy Freeze MK2 gear. Take a note of defense values in room 1 and room 2. Now let's activate Terrestrial Rare Commander and repeat both the activities. After the activation of Commander, I'm getting 55,500 per raid ticket. Here, I would like to mention that, you need to calculate 40% of the base XP value, depending upon the region you've cleared. I'm at R32, and base XP for R32 is 15,000. Now 40% of 15k is 6k, which is exactly the increase I'm getting. I'm going to test my base again as well. Here, with the commander active, there is a significant increase in the defense values of room 1 and room 2. Whether you guys believe it or not, this increase is 100% of the base defense value. I can explain the mechanics of base defenses in a separate video if you guys like. Just let me know in the comments section if I should make another video explaining how the defense values are derived. Last one in the list is Special Ops Rare Commander. Its description says, increase clan war resources gained by 25%. Increase arena boosters time by 35%. This perk will also reduce the cooldown time. Increase XP provided to squadmates using cards by 40%. It also reduces upgrade cost. Before the activation of Commander, we get 10 resources per PvP, with max insignia. Upgrade cost for one 10k card is 10 10k gold. Let's activate the commander and see the difference. After activation, commander is giving 12 clan war resources per PvP match. Works fine in domination also. Worth mentioning here that this bonus does not work for resources collected from outposts. Let's check XP cards now. As you can see, 10k card has become 14k card. 5k card has become 7k card and all cards have been upgraded by 
Upgrade cost for 14k card is also reduced to 606k gold only. Time to check the last perk, that is, Arena Boosters. Before we play an Arena match, take a look at Boosters details. Our commander is active, let's start an Arena match. In my earlier videos, I demonstrated Mobility Booster which lasts for 15 seconds and take 30 seconds for cooldown, without any commander. Today, I will use Invisibility Booster, which lasts for 10 seconds and takes 10 seconds for cooldown as well. As Commander is active, our Invisibility Booster is lasting for somewhat around 13 to 14 seconds and taking 7 seconds for cooldown. Hence 35% booster bonus in cooldown reduction time. So guys, these were the three rare commanders we tested today. All rare commanders work fine except for special ops rare commander in outposts, as it does not provide any bonus on clan war resources gained from outposts. Please let me know in the comments section, if you guys have any other query. See you in the next video on epic commanders.